Hey guys, it's Drew with GeoArm and I'm back to talk to you about the 2GIG Edge and learning in the 2GIG-GB1E-345 glass break detector. Super easy to do. Um, the first thing you're going to do when you get it out of the package is you'll need to remove it from its back plate, which is very, very uh, easy to do as well. But uh, I've already done so. So once you're able to separate it by basically just getting the arrows uh, unaligned by twisting it counterclockwise. If you look closely from the back here, I'm going to twist it counterclockwise and then it comes open. And I've already installed the batteries. These come in little uh, individual pieces of plastic uh, for wrapping. Um, but you're going to need the back plate off at this point anyways. So what we're going to do after you've inserted the batteries is we're going to go ahead and jump into our panel programming menu by hitting the gear in the bottom right hand corner and entering our installer code, which on mine is 1561, which is the factory code. Uh, we're going to scroll down to installer toolbox. At this point, you're going to go into panel programming. It'll populate another set of menus here and you're going to go into wireless zones. At this point, you're going to go to the first available zone or whatever zone that you want to use personally. Uh, mine is going to be on zone one because I don't have anything programmed in here. First thing we're going to do is we are going to choose the equipment code. For this, it is going to be the E-series glass break detector, which the code is 2864. Chose the wrong one there, 2864. All right, and once you've chosen the correct equipment code, you press the down arrow. At that point, it's going to ask what the sensor type is. You're going to choose whatever the responsibility for your glass break is going to be. If you're trying to monitor for 24-hour glass break, then you need to be aware that any noise with a high pitch more than likely would trigger a glass break detector, so be very careful. What I typically recommend is only having a arm when you're not there. Uh, so what I'm going to do for this one is choose perimeter. And then we're going to choose the down arrow to acknowledge that. And then it's going to be asking for the TXID. At this point, we're going to hit the learn button on the keypad there. And then we're going to hit the tamper switch, which is located just in between the two batteries on the inside of the circle here. So you can see it right here. You just press that button down and it should learn it in. There it is right there. So it took me pressing it down a few times, but it did eventually learn in. Uh, so it's in there now. You hit accept on that to confirm the serial number. The sensor loop should be a one. You press the down arrow and at this point you can choose the voice descriptor. So I'll just make this living room, for instance. So I'll type in living and then room and then glass break and then press done. So now it says living room glass break. Uh, you don't really need a chime for a glass break detector. Um, the smart area assignments I'm going to leave. Uh, the transmission delay, that, that lets uh, the panel know that this needs an additional delay before it transmits. I typically turn that off because I want my sensors to transmit immediately. Um, after that, you press the down arrow, then you're going to see sensor reports. That's if you want this actual sensor to report its alarms to the central station. Of course, I would choose yes because we want it to report to the central so that we call you and let you know what's going on. Finally, it's sensor supervised, which lets the uh, sensor know that it needs to check in with the actual 2 gig edge system to report and let it know that it's okay. At this point, it is programmed incorrectly. You're going to hit the back arrow all the way out of programming. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page and click the Show More tab underneath the video where you can view valuable links pertaining to this product, similar how-to videos, and our low-cost, no-contract alarm monitoring services.